Jets just signed Nathaniel Hackett, which on the face of it is like a <laughs> typical jest uh, when you see him as head coach for Denver. But we got to remember, he was another guy as the OC. And he was the OC of the Packers. Now, the Jets and the Packers were already in kind of loose talks about trading for Aaron Rodgers. The addition of Nathaniel Hackett really, really, really sounds like you're going to see Nathaniel Hackett and Rodgers coming to the New York Jets this offseason. I ain't saying it's done, but everybody in the AFC East that's not wearing green should be very, very, very concerned. I am. My Dolphins finally started to look like they're knocking on a door. And you got the Bills fans who've had a nice control over the AFC East. and Looked like it would be that way for a while. Got the Pats. They were on top for 20 years. Now they've been like the little guy head pushed over in the water. But they're fighting back. They got themselves uh, a, a new OC. Looks like they're trying to get all three of these teams are going to be battling most likely for that first spot. And they're going to be on the short end of the stick in a talent. uh, When you weigh out the talent, if Rodgers goes to the Jets. Look at this. You've got Miami, Jets, no Tua, but still 47-team. You got uh, New England. They lost... Uh, they lost, the Jets did, by five points. Dick, if Rodgers is there, that's a little bit more than, they're going to do a little bit more than that, 17 points they put on. Buffalo, they beat Buffalo by three, first time. They lost to the <laughs> the Patriots in that crazy game with the kickoff, 10-3. I think Aaron Rodgers could do a little bit better than Russell Wilson and put more than three on. Uh, Buffalo, they lost to them 20-12. to uh, I think, You know, there's going to be more points than that with Rodgers. And then 11-6. Didn't have two again. But still, Rodgers is a scary piece to the puzzle. Uh, He's used to the cold. He knows that environment, that Northeast environment is cold and windy. He's got all that stuff over there in Green Bay, and he's used to it. And he's got uh, uh, Garrett Wilson... Corey Davis, Brees Hall, Michael Carter, among others. Uh, offensive line that has pieces, depend, and, and a lot of pieces, depending on if Mackay Becton comes back. And then he's got a defense with Sauce and Reed and Williams. And Jets, they've got the 13th overall pick. Now, I don't know what it's going to cost to get Rodgers, but they're still going to have good ammo at that second round. They still got a full slate of picks this year, next year, which they'll lose a little bit for for Rodgers. But they got, uh, they tightened the cap this year, but they got 112 to spend next year and 232 the year after that. They have maneuverability. They have the ability to take the next two to three years and backload a lot of contracts, stack this already very good team, and they can vie for it all in the AFC East very easily. They would have an offense that's equivalent to their defense. And Bills, they got Allen, but they got a lot of problems that they need to resolve this offseason. Same thing with the Dolphins. And the Patriots, Mac Jones against Rodgers with two equivalent defenses. This could turn the AFC on its head. And it looks like it's strongly headed in this direction. I did a podcast a couple days ago about the strategic overview of all four teams because, you know, I'm not going to speak about the Jets right now, but the Patriots, the Dolphins, and the Pats, they all need to do really, really well with their offseason. And, but the problem is, if you got Rodgers with the Jets And they somehow, they've been drafting pretty good, have a decent draft and a little bit more talent. It does not matter because 
the Jets are in such a prime position. And Rodgers will vault them ahead of probably what any of these other teams are going to be able to do. It's not to say the Bills, the Jets, or uh, the Dolphins, or the Patriots can't beat the Jets. But on the look of it, this is highly, highly concerning. The AFC East would be unbelievably brutal, and you'd have to put the Jets as the most dangerous team at this juncture going into the 2023 season for the AFC East. I hope it ain't true. I want them to grab, I want them to go back with Flaquito or stick with Wilson. But everything that you hear in the wind is the Jets are going to bring in Aaron Rodgers and Nathaniel Hackett is just the knock at the door saying, we're waiting for you, sir. Come on in. So anyway, big, big news. If it pans out this way, clearly I think the Jets are going to get a veteran quarterback. I was hoping for somebody else, uh, but watch the news on this one, folks. Curtis saying, catch you next time. Be well. See you soon. Start building your own online sports book today by getting signed up with acebread.com service that allow you to book action on sports from all around the world.